I did some FMC solves and now I want to show you some explanations of moves that I did. It wasn't perfect, but the point of the video is to just help you understand what I'm thinking. For each solve on the right side of the screen, I will display the text analysis of all of my mistakes compared to optimal solution. It is highly recommended to keep that in mind as well, because I do mistakes. This is the first scramble. We start with rotating 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then saving 7 and 8. Now I should solve the yellow part, and I start with moving 13 to the bottom. So I move 13 to the left, and uh, before that I move 6 and 10. I rotate these elements, then insert uh, 5, 9 and 1. So now I just have 14 and 10 connected. Now I insert everything and finish in the easy 3 by 3 I'm starting the second solve with moving 1, 4 to the top to insert it with 1, 4 and 3. So I just move it to the top, then also I save in number 5 to later connect it with number 13. Now I just insert 1, 3, 4 and now insert number 2 as well. Uh, moving 13 and 5 to the left and here I should also save number 14 to prepare a better 3x3. Now I just have really easy 3x3 and finishing it really fast. Third scramble is actually pretty lucky. I start with stopping 1, 13 and 9. So I move these three pieces to the left. Now I also save number 10 and 7 to the better positions. So later it can help in 3x3. Now I can move it to the top. So here I should also rearrange 2, 5 and 3. So I have them in almost all positions. Now before inserting 1, 9 and 13 I should solve the green part first to save some moves on 3x3. Three three. So I rearrange this uh, three numbers pattern and now I have really obvious ending. This solution wasn't really good. I started moving two to the right and then I should solve the left part with yellow elements and one. So I rearrange them to place in their positions so that's pretty straightforward. Later I should solve 4, 2 and 3, but now I just solve uh, the yellow part. Here I prepare 4 and 2 to place them later to the top. Now I solve 9 and 13. And here I just uh, insert 4, 2 and 3. I didn't prepare a good uh, 3x3 and probably also failed optimal solution. So here I just decided to move 10 and 14 on the bottom and rotate the green part. I'm starting the next solve with uh, disconnecting 10 from the 14. That can help later in better 3x3. Then I move 9 to the right to prepare 13, 9, 5, 1 line to later insert it with a circle. So here I probably did a mistake with number 7 and 8 because I didn't prepare them. So here I should do a circle of 13, 9, 5 and 1. So I move number 9 to the right. Then I do a circle to insert this line. Here I'm trying to prepare a better 3x3 by moving 8 to the top and 14 to the left. Now I finish in the moving the left circle. And uh, here I didn't really get 
a good 3x3 because I didn't set up 8 and 7 so I got not really great latest solution but I have 8 and 7 paired and also just pair 3 and 4 and insert 7 and 8 finishing in 60 moves I start the next solution with solving 1 and 4 and also saving 14 and 10 pair so I just insert 1 and 4 now I have 3 and 2 I just move them to the top now I should move 13 and 9 to the bottom so now I just move 13 and 9 and also insert 2, 3 and 4 also moving 5 to the top to later insert it with 13 and 9 I'm not doing anything special to prepare better 3x3, but after solving 5 and 13, I solve the second layer and finishing the puzzle in 60 moves. In next solution I did a couple mistakes, uh, but the start was pretty obvious, I just solve uh, 1, 2 and 4, so I just insert it to the top and moving uh, all the three to the right to insert it uh, finishing the first layer and now i didn't prepare six seven and eight and that's why i think uh, it's a mistake i should have solved the second layer instead of yellow elements but i just uh, move uh, 30 to the left in order to insert it and here is a moment where I could still save moves probably by rotating 5, 6 and 7 at this move. But I didn't do that and I, I'm not sure if that could have worked. But anyway. So here I just insert uh, 13 and 9 and uh, getting not really great 3x3. Three three. So now I insert uh, 8 first and finishing the 13 and 9 and here I also did a wrong move of 12 so I just undo it and finish in the 3 by 3 I'm starting the next solve with moving 9 to the left and now moving 1 to the top so now just uh, move number 1 and here I should rotate 1, 4 and 13. So now I have 1 solved, 4 on the top and moving now 13 to the bottom. But first I should insert 2 and 3. So here I should look uh, closer at numbers 6, 7 and 8. Now insert the yellow part, now insert the green and uh, I'm not sure if I could get a better 3x3 but that's 63 moves so that's not bad this solution wasn't really smart I start with just solving 13, 5 and 9 I just moved them to the left now I move 4 to the top and here I should rearrange 1, 2 and 3 numbers to later insert number 4 I move 1 to the bottom now rearrange the th three numbers and now insert number four i didn't prepare a three by three and i just got a not really great three by three solution i guess i start the next solve with inserting one and two and also preparing number four to combine it with number three here I move number 3 to the right and before inserting that I should also save 14 10 pair by moving 14 to the left. Here I solve number 3 and 4 and also prepare number 6 to better position for 3x3. Three three. Here I insert number 5 and here I also save number 14 to closer position. So I insert yellow and getting quite easy 3x3. Three three. I start the next solution with moving 5 to the right to save 
5 and 13 pair and solve 1 and 3 to the top. So move 5 to the right and solve 1 and 3. Now I should move 2 to the top and also start moving 13 and 5 to the left with number 9 of course. So now I just move 5 to the bottom and also move 4 to the higher position. Here I should insert 13 and 5 and uh, I just insert red part, then insert yellow part. Nothing really done with 3x3, three three, but it's quite lucky, so I got 71 moves. I start the next solve with moving blank to the left to place 4 higher and also place 5 to the left. Here I also move 1 and 9 to closer to their positions, move 3 to the top and insert 13 and 5 to the bottom. Here I solve 1 and 4 and now I insert number 2 and here I insert number 5 and 9. And really important move here is to save number 14 to prepare better 3x3. Here I just insert number 3 after some thinking and now I'm not getting really great 3x3 but anyway it's better than it could be. The idea is to move 6 to the bottom and rotate number 14 and 10 to later insert it. I start the next solve with moving number 2 on the top. Now I move number 4 to the right and 5 to the top, closer to their positions. Here I should swap number 5 and 9, so 5 is even closer to being solved. And now I insert the red elements, finishing the first layer. Here I should look on green elements. I have almost solved line, so I should solve the second layer at the same time as yellow elements. I move 13 to the bottom and now I finish the second layer solving at the same time with yellow elements. I have 14 and 10 already solved and finishing the puzzle is in 57 moves. I started the next solve with moving several elements closer to their positions. Moving 3 to the top 9 to the left, now 5 to the left and number 1 to the top. Now I can easily insert the red layer. I insert 1, 4 and 2. Now I also move 3 to the top and insert it with the red part. Here I try to save some moves with playing around with 8 and 7, but it uh, didn't really affect anything, so I finish the yellow part and now I should solve the 3x3, three three. I solve 6, 14 and 10 part first, and uh, after that I left with not really bad 3 uh, 2 I start the next solve with moving 1 on the top while saving 14 and 10 pair. And then I move 5 to the left and now should move number 13 and 9 to the left to prepare yellow part. Also moving number 3 to the top. Here I should solve numbers 1, 3 and 4 so I can just insert number 2 later. So I just insert 1, 3 and 4 on the top. And now I insert numbers 5, 13 and 9 to the left, while also moving 2 higher. Now I can just insert number 2 to the top, but also I should move number 6 with it to save some moves on final 3x3. Three three. And because I prepared 10 and 14 pair and also saved number 6, I'm getting really easy solution. At the start of next solve I have to move number 6, 12, 10 and 15 without much reason by just moving to the left part of the puzzle, so I can move number 4 higher, number 9 to the left and later number 1 to the top. So now I also moved 
13 to the left and everything is just closer to the left side. So now I can just rotate using 6, 12, 10 again. And here I moved uh, 2 to the right for some reason, that's probably was a mistake. And here I should move number 4 to the right. So I also connect numbers 5 and 9 and moving 13 to its place. Now I should move 2 to the left again. So I can connect 1, 3 and uh, 4 with number 2 to insert the red layer. So I can insert the red part and also saving uh, 10 and 14 pair in order to prepare better 3x3 solution. So now I just combine 14 and 10 together and now just finishing the first fridge and solving the prepared 3x3. Next solution had a really great scramble, but I did some mistakes in the middle. So I start with solving number 1, 2 and 4 and also moving 5 to the left in just few moves. So now I should insert number 3 and move 9 to the bottom. So I move 3 to the top, move 9 to the bottom. And I guess the main mistake is that I didn't prepare the number 6, 7 and 8 in order to save moves in 3x3 and I just inserted number 3 and 4 to the top. So I moved uh, 13 and 9 to the left, saved 6 and 8 pair and inserted uh, 3 and 4. So I just solved numbers uh, 9 and 13, got not really lucky 3x3 and I had a saved pair of 6 and 8 but it wasn't really great. So I just uh, started uh, moving it to the top and uh, solved the 3x3 finishes the puzzle in 60 moves. This is the last scramble. I started by moving 13 to the left and moving 4 to the top, preparing the rest solution and also set up in some elements of 3x3 by moving 6 and 14 to the bottom. So now just insert number 2 and 3 to the top and move 4 to the right. So now I would have space to insert the yellow part. So I just insert 4 to the right and uh, start solving the yellow part. Basically I just finish it and then insert numbers 2, 3 and 4. Now place 8 in the corner of 3x3 three three and finish it from the bottom, getting a really lucky solution.